Hey, what's happening guys? As you can see here, I have got the Raspberry Pi 3 sitting on the table here. And as you can see, she's powered up. But the HDMI slot is unpopulated. Why you may ask? Well, because today we are going to talk about running your Raspberry Pi in headless mode. And the reason we want to talk about this is because I've got a cool Raspberry Pi project coming up that's going to run in headless mode and I want you to know how to do that and how to contact and talk to your Pi. So, before you can run it in headless mode, you need to set up the interfaces. So let's hop on into the computer and take a look at how to do that. All right, guys, first of all, I'm assuming that you have your Raspberry Pi set up with Raspbian. If you don't, look down below in the description. I'll link to the two videos showing you how to set it up. Once you've reached that point, it's pretty simple, and you can just come on over here to the Applications menu, go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration, and click on Interfaces. You want to make sure you enable SSH for a command line interface and VNC for the graphical user interface. Once that's done, restart your Pi and we'll be able to connect to it in a headless mode. But do take note of what your address is. My particular internet address is 192.168.1.78. That's my internal DNS address. And all you need to do to get that is move your mouse over top of the little Wi-Fi symbol. We'll need to know that address, so keep it in mind. All right, let's go on to the next step. Okay, the next step is you're going to need to download PuTTY to connect via SSH, as long as you're using Windows. If you're using Mac, I can't help you. So you can get PuTTY from www.putty.org, and don't worry, I'll put the link down below so you can just click it. But you can just go over to the PuTTY page and get the MSI, which is the complete installer program. The, all you need to do is double click it, either pick the 32-bit or the 64-bit, whichever you need. Take a couple minutes to download and you'll be good to go. Once you have PuTTY downloaded and running on your screen, you will get this screen here, the PuTTY configuration screen. And you want to make sure you're doing an SSH login. And you're going to put in your IP address. Remember I told you to remember what that was? Oops. Then all we should need to do is click open. And there we are. Connected. Into our Raspberry Pi. And now you can use your Pi in headless mode through the command line interface. No worries, very simple. However, I know that a lot of you guys might be like me and might not want to play with your Raspberry Pi from the command line interface and you would rather use a graphical user interface. Well, don't worry, it's pretty easy and we're gonna do that in the next step using what's called a VNC viewer. All right, so the program we're using here is Real VNC, and it is the VNC Viewer. So you're going to pick in this section right here what your host computer is. And, you know, you have your choice between Windows, Mac, Linux. You can even use another Pi or your iPhone, or your Android phone, or your Chromebook, or some of these, if you're of that nature. But once you select, 
you just come down here you can pick the exe for the 64 bit or the 32 bit get the msi installers boom you're done download it once that's done all you have to do is launch uh, the vnc viewer all right so here's the vnc viewer running and again all we need to do is type in the address of our Raspberry Pi login standard Raspberry Pi login username Pi password Raspberry and boom you're in so now you are seeing the graphical desktop from your Raspberry Pi and you can access everything going on with it including running a web browser from your Pi from another computer I don't know why you'd want to do that since you're already on a computer but it is definitely something that you can do yep, and there it is it works pretty well so that's a basic demonstration of how you can run your Raspberry Pi in headless mode it can be really useful if you want to connect to your Pi from you know somewhere else or if you don't want to have it running with a monitor and a keyboard and all that which we're going to do in an upcoming project, which I can't tell you about because it's top secret right now, but it's coming up pretty soon. All right? All right, guys, so I showed you how to run your Raspberry Pi in headless mode, which is a pretty unique way to run it, and, you know, works out pretty good. Now, I've got a project coming up here. I don't want to tell you too much about it, just in case I can't get it running, but I'm going to tell you enough so that if you want to play along with me you'll have what you need all right so what you're going to need let me zoom out here is an audio cable stereo you see three sections a powered speaker and a usb microphone you don't have a USB microphone but you do have a webcam that's USB that'll work all right that's all I can tell you for now if you guys like this you know what to do give me a thumbs up comments questions put them down below links to the software we use down below also links to setting up your pie if you haven't done it before that's it I'm out peace